Hey, this is Chris Tui, Touching Base, giving you a quick update on my Lotus Domino CMS. Uh, this has changed since the last time you've seen it in my Lotus Domino CMS teaser video, but I want to keep that same approximate length and show you what I've gotten so far. I've added documents and events. Now, those are upcoming events that you can plan for more social uh, gatherings or site-specific events. Documents, this can translate to blog posts. Uh, you have media that can be stored within the application, and you have for site design specific uh, structuring, uh, pages, render kits, and content. Now I'll go in here and I'll show you an example of the build. So I'll go in here and I'll actually just delete everything from the body. You can see here I have a very basic setup for my index.html where I have a header placeholder. This header is going to grab information out of the content section, bring that in. So it's going to bring over markup. I can use this to bring over markup or information in a render kit such as any upcoming events on the main page or latest blog content. So this is actually going to go through based on this search criteria, create that uh, notes document collection, do the merge based on this uh, formula template, and spit out the content here. Now it's going to go through and build at runtime. So all we need to do is actually build out the site. Now we go into preferences within the CMS um, preferences section, and we're going to, after we've set this all up, set the publish location. Now this should publish to a local file share or an external file share that you have FTP access to or curl access or web dev access to for example. So I can go in here, click on actions, click publish, and it's not only going to go through rebuild all the content within the site, so I'll go into my actual pages and see that it's actually within the body section here. There we go. I had it open. Sorry about that. We'll see that it's not only gone in and merged all the content as I wanted, but it will also render the page or uh, export the page into the folder. We see DGV3 off of the C drive. We can open that up. It populates. We can open up the index.html and we see see here a fully functional website just localized now if we had this synchronizing via back-end process or publishing directly to an FTP curl or web dev enabled folder you would be able to immediately start maintaining your site with this application now we're going to get into more extended feature functionality such as a WYSIWYG editor workflow within the CMS so on and so forth but again this was a quick teaser to show you just how far we've come with the Lotus Domino CMS application any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me online at c2e at dominoguru.com at my website www.dominoguru.com or feel free to hit me up in the show notes. I'll have my contact information there. Thanks and take care.